Hello everyone and welcome to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to calculate cumulative sales or running total sales by category or subcategory using the window function. So let's get started with this tutorial. So first of all, I'm going to create a measure which will calculate my sales amount. So I'm going to say total underscore sales is equals to calculate sum of my sales amount from the sales table. I've now created a measure called total sales. So now let's go ahead and create a new measure here. Let's call this measure as cumulative sales. I'm going to say calculate total sales. This is the measure that we just created, comma. And now I'm going to use the window function over here. It takes in a few parameters. Let's go through them in detail. So the first parameter of the argument over here is from. So let's enter zero here for now, comma. And then whether it's an absolute or relative, let's enter absolute for example. And then on the next line, let me just push this to the next line, comma. And then the next argument here is two. Let's enter zero for now and type in absolute, comma. The next argument here is for relation. So over here, I'm going to use a function called summarize and then say all selected and enter my table name over here, which is sales 2022 comma and then it's asking us to group by column name and this column name needs to be the column that you have added in your table in my case it is subcategory so i'm going to do that Com close the bracket and then comma and then the next argument within the window function is the order by function i want to order this by the uh, subcategory that i have in my table then i'm going to close the bracket over here close the bracket again close the bracket again to close the calculate function and press enter let's see what happens now let me bring in the cumulative sales into my table so the first value that we have over here which is 2,3,949 is being repeated over here in the cumulative sales now let's understand why this is repeating let's go back to our measure and we see that we've entered value 0 absolute and 0 absolute from and to is 0 and it is absolute right and now let me just change these values to zero over here and then change this to relative so that you understand what is happening. I'm going to change this to relative and press enter. And now you will see that it is now referring to the same row in my cumulative sales column. So the value over here is being repeated in the cumulative sales. Likewise over here, 147,052, the same value is being repeated now in the cumulative sales. And now you have understood how to get the first value of the row over here, which is 2,3,949. And then you have also understood how to get the current row value as well. So let's go back to our measure. Now let's change these values. So we'll change this to one and change this to absolute and then let's leave this at zero and this as relative and press enter and now let's see what is happening so let's go back to our table and now what is happening is you will see that the first row over here is 2 lakh 3000 that is exactly what we have in our cumulative sales and when we move to the second row it takes the first row and the second row and then gets the output or sums the value and gets the output of 4 lakh 23057 likewise when it shifts to the fifth row it's going to sum the values all the way from the first row until the fifth row and return the output value over here so this is how you can do the cumulative sum so let's take a look at the DAX once again over here. So you must be familiar with the Excel formulas and the absolute value what it is doing over here is just like pressing F4 to lock your cell so that it calculates from a particular cell always when you drag down that particular formula that is exactly what is happening over here. And over here zero and relative relative is basically it keeps referring to the next row every single time when you're there in that particular row so this is how you can calculate the cumulative sales based on your category or subcategory column or any column for that matter using the window function and this particular function has made it really easy to calculate the cumulative sales so that's it guys in this particular tutorial i hope you enjoyed this tutorial you learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials 